Hi everyone, it's Joyce here. I'm going to carve out cocktails on this mug and I've drawn the cocktails that I want around the mug and then I'm going to start to carve it out. I this I've carved out most of the cup already which I'll show later so I'm just redrawing my leaves and my cocktails because they kind of got wiped off a little bit this way. I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Well, I could use a leaf in here, which I didn't have before. They're not good cocktail leaves. They should be right straight up, but this just gives it a little bit of a different type of a leaf. So I take my small carving tool and I carve the edges around, holding it at an angle. Now, unfortunately, the cup is a bit on the dry side. It should be not as dry as this, and so I have to be careful it doesn't break as when it's this dry, it can break. But it's still got enough moisture in it that I can carve it without it taking it apart. Now, I like when I'm carving along the edge, I find it easier to pull down beside it. So in order to get it pulled down, I turn the cup upside. Do one side of the leaves and the cocktail and then turn the cup upside down to get the other side carved out. And just giving the outline of all the leaves and the cocktail. Then after I get the cocktail and leaves outlined, I'll take my larger carving tool and carve around the edges and get a wider carving area. And what I'm doing actually is I'm carving deeper around the leaves and around the cocktail. But as I get away from it, I don't carve as deep. Just sort of like I'm sloping up on the carving area. That way it gives the illusion that the whole cup's carved, but it's not necessary to carve all of the cup. So I just clean up the leaves and go around it. Now this area I will carve out more of it because there's only a little bit between the two leaves. And if I'm got to be careful, I'm going to carve out the stem of that other cocktail. So I'm going to outline that so that I don't carve into that and carve the stem into that. Most of the area is cleaned up. I'll take back, go back to my small carving tool and carve in closer around the cocktail and around the leaves. And then this helps to give it more definition to the cup, more depth around the design, because that way the glaze will, well, the glaze won't get lost in it, it won't get lost in the glaze, and I'll be able to show it better once I glaze it. And I'm even carving. Just a not line along here, just to give it a little bit of a groove around the edges. Now it's carved most of the way. I'm leaving the grass in there, but I do clean up the crumbs and that with a sponge. And, and even my finger. I get my finger in there and burnish some of the... Okay, there's my mug finished. Ready to go into the kiln for the best firing. <laughs> 